So this video is to show you a couple of the features of MapRunF version 4.8.7. Now often MapRunF is being used for scheduled club events where you'll select an event from the published events. But at this time of virus lockdowns, we're focusing more now on what an individual can do with the app to set up an event for themselves. And you'll look at the, uh, the menu items here, the bottom three in particular, uh, quick start, that you set up a, a quick event, a more sophisticated version of a similar thing, check sites, and a new feature uh, to create a map within the app. So let's just start here with creating a map. This is about taking an image that's taken with your camera or in your gallery of images. I've got one here of a, of a map that I'm going to geo-reference in a way that I can use as the base map in my app. So just make sure that north is, uh, is pointing uh, upwards on the page. Uh, select this as the image and then you're taken to a split screen here where we'll see the image at the top and we'll see uh, Google satellite imagery at the bottom. The idea is to locate two pins, uh, often one in the top left and one in the bottom right, but not, uh, not necessarily. Uh, where the, the map and the, the image align. So let's just zoom in a bit on the, on the image here. And I'm going to select a point over, uh, over here, just on the corner of that fence there. I know that that's here. You can zoom right in on this, so I'll just be fairly quick. We drop a pin there. We'll then uh, move off to the bottom right here a bit. Uh, I'll go to a road junction here, which is uh, pretty clear to identify. I'll do the same here. There's that road running along there. I'll just find the junction here and that's it there. I'll drop the second pin there. Now what we're showing here is a, um, a display of the map positioned as you've, uh, as you've set it with those two pins. You can review that uh, by changing the transparency of the overlay there. You can zoom right in and just uh, check how well that's aligning. Um, ultimately, you can either go back and redo your pins or you can save that as a KMZ. So let's just give that a name now. Uh, ash test 2 say. We can also email it to ourselves or email it to someone else if you want to uh, as a KMZ file. We won't do that at the moment. Now, where's it gone? So go and select your event, go into your local events and you'll find Ash Test 2. So we've created a little event which has really only got a map in it that has that one map that we've just uh, geo-referenced. So if I zoom out on that, you'll see that I've got effectively an event with, uh, with no course and just the map. So, that brings us then to the second uh, feature there, which is create a, a quick start event. Now, quick start uh, has been um, an event, a feature we've had uh, to date, um, but now it's enhanced to have um, the option to select a map. So if I now go and select my map that I've just uh, geo-referenced and loaded into the system, you'll find now that I'm able to set my course uh, with that map as the background. And for those of you who haven't uh, perhaps used this feature yet, this is uh, simply again the process of dragging the map around uh, to add your control sites. So I'll just put a start there uh, and then I'll put a control 31 up here and so on until I have my course and you need to finish with F1. Uh, you can make that a line course if you want to or you can keep that off. You can of course check it with the map and with, with the map on and off. Uh, just while I'm looking at that, the, the key feature to watch out for is that your controls are accurately located on the real world uh, rather than on the map because it's the latitude and longitude of the control locations obviously that are used by the app to uh, to run the function of, uh, of uh, punching controls. 
Okay, so you can now save that, um, and that will save that with the map, and you can, or you can save and email it, and you will get a copy of the course file sent to you, which uh, allows you to use it for other functions. So the final point to note is now, when you select an event from your local events, the quick start events here now have an edit icon against them, which allow you to go back into them and make changes which is uh, something we didn't have in the previous version. So going back into the event I've just created, just confirming I do want to edit it, you'll see that we've reopened that event. Now just to reinforce the point I was making before, it's better to position the controls actually without the overlay map. Um, 31 I really meant to put on the end of that, uh, that street there. So the best thing to do is to, uh, to swipe the control that you don't want away. That's deleting it. Uh, zoom right in to where you want that control to be, accurately locate it, and then recreate that control by adding it back in. Uh, you can sort the order of controls here by just dragging them up and down in the list, and then, of course, you can resave the uh, the event as either a new event or uh, overwrite the previous event. So. Um, have some fun with those uh, new features, uh, stay safe and well and, uh, and enjoy uh, MapRun.